Hi guys, Richard Utting from Sharpshooting UK here. Um, quick um, overview of the Zeiss PRF rangefinder, which after testing most of them out there, I've discovered to be the best for pinging long range uh, small targets, which are you know, pretty challenging. Rabbits at 1,000 yards is as hard as it gets really, I think, and uh, without going to military kit, um, it, it, it does test the, the commercial kit and uh, I have, I've tried a lot of them and, uh, and, and this one I like very much so I thought I would share. Useful because you can really get hold of it stably. I prefer this size to the um, smaller ones that are sort of um, uh, like the Leica's a squarer thing. I, I find that this is easier to get a good grip on and moreover because you've got a full-size eye cup you can one comfortably but two stably put that around your eye and pull back so that you've got that that stable mount which helps you um, ping things at uh, a, a greater range um, two buttons one uh, does your ballistic drop and all of that but I, I load my own cartridges and, and they're not really relevant but if you're a, a normal say two four three hundred grain deer shooter then you can set a ballistic drop um, a device which I, I imagine would be fairly useful for you. That's that button and this button is your ping button. Simple as that. Battery compartment here takes CR123s which uh, you know um, you don't see every day but they're available everywhere because they're a very common camera battery and cheap as chips. You can get rechargeables all sorts. Lasts very well. Um, I use it a lot. And I've only put one in in a year I think. Um, you've got the Lototech coatings. Now, I am a big fan of rain guard and, and anything that stops your lenses fogging up because it happens, you get them wet, and however expensive they are, if they've got half an inch of water on them, forget about it. Whereas these coatings that bead and, uh, and let, you, let you see through and stop them fogging, really, really useful. So it's a big plus, in my opinion, on, on the Zeiss and also on the uh, Bushnell Elites, which, which use the rain guard coating. Um, comes in a very nice bag. It's only a little thing, but you know, it's uh, quite a nice little bag, keep it safe. They're fairly delicate things, range finders, and they get a fairly hard life bashing around in your pocket and back of your jacket and such like. So, having a, a decent uh, bag is uh, worth having. Um, this isn't going to be a top notch video, but I'll give you an idea of the uh, aiming point at the reticle by putting it on the end of the video camera so uh, just bear with me now this is very um, nicely backlit it's not overly bright at night you know reducing your contrast uh, it's just right that whatever the light be it you know bright midday sunlight today or or middle of the night it, it's just the right backlighting which is which is a classy touch it seems to have a light sensor that ascertains how much light there is and how bright the LED needs to be. So that is the aiming dot. Then you've got your little flashing lights underneath that tell you the range. As I say, not the best video, but it gives you an idea. Um, the quality of the image is quality of the image is better than the Leicas and but that's saying something it's really really clear it's as good as a you know three four hundred pound pair of binoculars it's uh, really very good and you've got a big stable eye box as well because of your eyepiece so all in all a very useful um, piece of kit obviously you can ping but you've also got a, a very usable um, binocular or monocular should I say that will uh, enable you to spot, well, we, we, we use them to spot rabbits at three or 400 yards, uh, which is what you'd expect from a half decent pair of binoculars. So um, really very impressive. It's a 26 mil, which doesn't seem very big, but uh, does the job. The, the optics are crystal clear. Um, so uh, th that's useful because it doubles as a, a rangefinder and a binocular, which saves you having to carry your, your binoculars uh, half the time. Um, so that's very useful. If you compare it to the Leica, for example, 
the Leica will uh, ping long range. Uh, no two ways about it. The the 1200 scan uh, and certainly the new 1600 scan you know they will do the job um, and they have a lovely small aiming point a tiny little box that's very very precise and, and and they work no doubt about it they are they are up there what I like about the Zeiss in comparison is that you can find these for 500 pounds new which is a lot cheaper than the Leicas and they've got the rain guard much nicer eyepiece in my opinion I think that is very useful and um, the tiny little rubber small little things that you hold up to your eyes that you get on the Leicas and, and a lot of the others the Nikon Monarchs and, and such like are, uh, are a nightmare to, to, to look through in the spotting sense sure you can ping with them but if, they, if it's going to double as a you know as, as a spotting device then you need to be comfortable and you need a decent eyepiece so that's that's a, a plus for me with these uh, as I say, the rain guard, the anti-fog, the image, the eye box is much bigger and uh, slightly clearer than the Leica. So, you know, against what is probably the industry standard, you're doing real well and, and they're cheap. So uh, I'm a big fan of, of, this, of this unit here. Um, what else is there to say? With regard to the performance, your, it depends on the light and various other factors, but if you take a good unit like the Bushnell Elite 1500, which has got good optics, is this form factor has all the pluses I've mentioned about rain guard and the uh, and the nice eyepiece. Um, that will ping rabbit set for 500 yards, which is magic. And if you're going to use it for deer and fox, it's going to serve you fine. If you're trying to range on a slightly sloping, low contrast field the difference between an 870 yard rabbit and an 890 yard rabbit which is the difference between a miss and a hit definitely you need you know to step up a level and get really precise uh, reliable pinging and um, the only units that we found that will do that are the are the big likers and the and this unit here um, with regard to you know <laughs> ultimate performance it depends on the reflectivity but you know you can ping road signs at 1600 yards you can you can ping hedge lines at you know a thousand plus all day long um i remember once in a rainstorm pinging a rock face at 1230 you know with a one-handed shaky grip and thinking you know wow th this size is really good but in the real world what we use it for is is as i say the difference between you know, 7, 800, 710, 720, where you really need to know the range, otherwise you're going you're gonna to get the drop wrong. I mean, you're needing to put in a quarter minute shot on these rabbits at the at long range, so you know, um, you really, really need to know how far they are exactly. And uh, the Zeiss has not let me down, um, even in difficult conditions. Um, you know, high light, poor light, fog, snow, you know, it just doesn't seem very fussy. Um, it's better than the Leica 1200 scan end of story um the the Leica 1200 scan is good definitely as, I, as I've mentioned earlier um but when push comes to shove and the light gets tricky etc uh, etc et this is slightly better and um whilst there are some good deals on those second hand new they're you know 750 pounds so this does represent a really good um buy uh, in my opinion and um, the other thing to mention is you've got this quick can you see that? There, diopter ring, which just adjusts it for people with glasses, people who don't have glasses, contact lenses, bad eyes, whatever. You can just tweak it, twist of a dial, like good binoculars, and get everything really sharp. So yeah, um, I hope that's been of some use. Uh, it's, a, it's a very good unit. I would say if you're shooting foxes at 400 yards uh, at, at the maximum, the Bushnell Elite 1500 I would thoroughly recommend. If you want to start shooting very small things very far away um, in bad light and uh, you know uh, without having to mess about being super steady, um, you know, resting on things, you know, if you just want to lift it to your eyes, quickly ping it, done, get on with your shooting. This is the model I recommend without a shadow of a doubt. The other advantage, of course, is that it will go through a windscreen. Even a wet, horrible windscreen with the wipers whizzing across it, you can ping six, seven hundred yards um, straight out of the window. So, you know, multo useful. There we go. I hope that's been of, uh, of some use. As I say, you can find these for about £500. And um, good investment, you know, good investment. Okay, thanks for listening.